king, as a son, he acquires direct title of a prince. Hallelujah. When the king is not there, that prince is there. Hallelujah. Whatever authority goes with the king, similar case with the priest. Hallelujah. Now, this is the message of the ones who are on this journey to our promised land. Who are, it is us now, not them now, then. Whoever Peter was talking to, they are long gone. Now, the scripture belongs to the church of this day. And to us who are in this journey to the promised land, the scripture says we have been adopted. And now we are the priests. Hallelujah. We are the princes, priests and princes of the Most High God. And now the priest has been allocated the power. Hallelujah. Which power have you received from God? Do you understand the kind of the power you have received from God? As a priest? If then you have come to the knowledge that you are a priest, do you know the kind of authority you can disperse wherever you are? Hallelujah. Because it is a serious concern. It is only in the doctrine of Christians, Christianity in the Bible, that Christians call themselves sons of God. Hallelujah. So we are all the only princes, priests and princes of God. Then, with that knowledge, which was foretold long time ago, that one day God will apportion us a Messiah. And immediately when the Messiah will come and we are adopted in that blood, then we directly qualify to represent Messiah wherever we go. Hallelujah. What does that mean? We are also priests. If we are to present Messiah, we are also priests. A priest to present the blood. And there's no longer any other blood to be presented except the blood of Jesus Christ. So wherever we are going, we are presenting the blood of Jesus Christ. Because we are priests, we are sons of God, we are priests of the royal family. Hallelujah. Now I want to bring us I want to uplift us to a level whereby we are going to understand the kind of people we are, we are actually now. Because the world is suffering. I told you the other day, people are crossing churches because they have not realized who they are. Anyone who receives Jesus Christ as a personal savior, that is, he becomes a priest. As he is apportioned, the spirit of the Father, the spirit is that, that spirit comes direct automatically unto you, and then you qualify to be allocated that power of the priest. When you turn to the book of Revelation, chapter 5, verse 1, the scripture says, The cherubims bowed down before God. When you receive the kingdom of God, that's what we are being told in the book of Matthew, chapter 6. Let us pray like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, may your will be done. Let your kingdom come. As you come for the kingdom of God to come, not only to be in the air, but also in your heart. Then in your heart, and where is your surrounding? There is transaction of cherubims. There are transaction of seraphims. My friend, you are no longer a coward Christian. Well, not the knowledge. Hallelujah. Wherever you go, that is where God told the Joshua. Wherever you will step, there you shall rule. Hallelujah. As are the children of God these days. As you are the Israelites of these days. You are the Israelites of these days. The Jews are fighting human beings. They have not known we were united to become like them, Israelites of the Spirit. But not the physical is right. Hallelujah. Now this is the awakening to the church of God. I call you to this knowledge of understanding you are the priest of God. And then in your heart there is transaction of cherubims. The Holy Spirit comes. You cannot take a 
away the spirit of God and the cherubim. They are coming like that packet in your heart and without you. They are surrounding you, they are with you wherever you go. That's the capacity of the power you have as a child of God. It is a shocking, it's a shock when you appear before God, brother, and you're just amazed. You don't know what to say, you don't know what to pray. Do you know every day you sleep in the morning? You have a deployment from your father if you are really a prince. That's why you find some of us are dreaming. Your people are being attacked by this. Now your father as a prince, he is telling you simply because you are a prince from where I've shown you this deployment, you have the power to command this to flee. Hence he has given you power to deliver us. Hallelujah. Whenever God is showing you in this dream, he is confirming to you, son, you are a priest. Wake up from your slumber. I have portioned you this power. And he is showing you. Some people are killing us. Hallelujah. Or some people are being attacked by snakes. He is telling you, son, I have appointed you there, given you deployment there, because you are a priest. And I have equipped you. Hallelujah. This is the awakening of the church of God this afternoon. You have the power to cure HIV. Can you imagine people are suffering of HIV, which was their leprosy, because sons and priests have not realized their responsibilities. Do you know people are suffering from the demon of homosexual because priests have not realized their responsibilities? Even their even priests, some of the priests are caught, are arrested. By that wicked spirit, can you imagine? You have power over darkness, powers. You have power even over Lucifer himself. You have acquired higher power. You can step over demon of homosexual. You can step over demon of witchcraft. You can step step over demon of illuminati because you are the best illuminator. Hallelujah! You are the best light. That is why Jesus was called the right giver. Hence, you are the right giver today. Hallelujah. You are the right giver today. When they come and tell you, we are the Illuminati, and we will see how far you will go. You have the power to tell you. Don't you know I have become the son who is the right giver, light giver? Hallelujah. That is the awakening in these last days. Hallelujah. May you be on your feet, brethren. We are going to pray like the sons of the Most High God tonight. We are going to pray like the most son of the Most High God. Do you know, whenever you dream with someone who died, hallelujah, hear this message. Whenever you dream with someone who died, God is telling you, there is transaction happening with the wickedness, hallelujah. And I have given you power. I have given you a deployment. I have given you a duty that very, very morning. Wake up. Serve me. I have given you that authority as a prince to rule. Do you know Persia was ruled by a king? And that king, because of the transaction of darkness, he had the power to bar and geography from reaching Daniel simply because Daniel then was under the authority of King of Persia, hallelujah. And now the spirit of King of Persia, because of the kind of evil transaction he was having with the demons and the jinns, that is why he had authority even to tell the angel of Gabriel, you have no chance, hallelujah. Do you know even as a prince of God, you have authority, like Elijah, to say to him, not ready. Here, I keep not ready. Because you're a priest. Hallelujah. Here, there's no witchcraft to prevail. Hallelujah. Here, there's no enjoyment to prevail. Hallelujah. Here, there's no grief or no spirit to prevail. Here, there's no territory. There's no room for illuminati. Hallelujah. To prevail. Here, I stand as a priest and I cover a tar entirely as a king, as a priest. And then you stretch your wings. 
with the body of Saudi, you stretch the other wings to the other body and, and you cover entire Qatar and everything like this. And you decree and declare Qatar will prosper in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You decree and declare the king of Qatar, the prince of Qatar, and everyone who lives there will prosper. Hallelujah. And no witchcraft will prevail. No darkness powers will prevail. Whether you are from Kenya, Uganda, wherever you are from, you can cover your country like this. When the, the day Jeremiah is the light of your life, he is the priest of Israel. My friend, Israel learned surely that day was a priest. Because like this, he stretched when he realized if cherubims are inside him and without him, he can use their wings and cover heavens and tell heavens to stop. No rain. Until they know your true God. Hallelujah. A tiny spirit of madness, spirit of divorce. I command you away. Now you declare, you decree and declare, and people are being set free. Tonight you have realized you are this. Tonight you can command them to go whenever you want. You are never weak anymore, brother. You are never weak anymore. It is high time now we go. We ask ourselves and walk in spirit. You can find spirit. And God can even if your family is having issues, you can fly now in spirit. Be there and command issues to stabilize. Hallelujah, brother Misha. Brother Sebastian, you can fly to the states of our nation and command things to stabilize. Hallelujah. It will cost all.